Cosmic, the Rust-powered desktop environment by System76 that is still in development. There's a lot of hype around it, including claims about how it will revolutionize the Linux desktop as we know it or something. I have a Pop OS LTS virtual machine booted so we can try it at its current state. Note that Cosmic isn't even in beta at the time of this recording, meaning stuff will surely improve over time. The packages containing our desktop environment and applications are in PopOS repositories, so we won't have to go through compiling those like say on Arch. That would have been incredibly painful. To use it properly, we have to update our GDM and UDEV configs. Trust me, if you miss any of those two steps, Cosmic may be unstable or flat out unbootable. I say through experience, unfortunately. When I first logged in, I tried to change the resolution. What I went for was 1920 by 1080 and it updated successfully but showed a different resolution in the drop down. Bugs like this are the reason Cosmic is still pre-alpha software, so hold back any criticism for minor details or anything like that. It will get polished as time goes by. The desktop layout isn't necessarily unique, it looks like a mixture of desktops combining the standalone window manager bar with a gnome like dock. The traditional borders around windows further prove the window manager look. Mind you, System76 wrote new applications from scratch, instead of using the old GNOME ones. One such example is the file manager, which you can see is quite bare bones at the time being. I appreciate the simple styling decision it made, although I suppose the left bar needs some more work. Another feature I'd love to see are folder icons, which are sometimes forgotten. Yes, I am looking at Youthoner. Other applications written from zero are the text editor and terminal. There's nothing really special about the text editor, although it's more powerful than Notepad, which has been around for 20 times as long. Now that I have two windows open, it would be cool to use the tiling feature. Overall, I am a massive fan of the snapping preview which shows exactly where the window is going to be snapped when you release it. This feature combined with workspaces seem extremely efficient and fast even on a VM. It's nice how appealing a lot of normally advanced features are made to suit everyday users. We'll see this is a recurring theme throughout this video. Skipping the read and app store, I'll show you the settings. As you can see, a lot of options aren't completed yet. On the about page we can see it running under Wayland on PopOS. A lot of traditional stuff is done, such as time and date preferences or display settings. This is where PopOS will shine in the future. Simple and elegant customization. You know how KD Plasma has 20,000 toggles for optimizing every single creak of your desktop? Well, a simple user wouldn't do any of that, they would just leave it as is. You can forget that with Cosmic of course, as it makes customization simple for everyone. You can change the panel's position, sizing, even the applets it contains. A lot of the included wallpapers are from GNOME, as I still have not uninstalled that on this system. It seems like changing between light and dark themes is possible, as well as a few color changes. UI elements can be rounded, sharp or anything in between that you desire. The same of course applies to window borders. A pretty cool feature is that the config exporting or importing is visible right on the settings page. So you won't have to do any digging for hidden .config files. The terminal is apparently based off Alacrity, which is a very solid choice. It's obviously very basic, but it does its job correctly and executes commands fine. 
Something that also has to be implemented system-wide is tab reordering, which isn't there yet. GNOME applications which don't use the Cosmic Toolkit still work fine, which is a great sign. I didn't test any KD ones, but they will probably work fine as well. Overall, it's a very complete desktop for the time it's been in development. Remember that it's made from the ground up in Rust. It is for sure one of the first of its kind, leaving behind old or otherwise outdated bloat that is probably embedded deep into stuff like GNOME or KD. I can't say I'm waiting to see what the future holds for this desktop. I'm glad there will be more competition in the desktop environment space, as it has been quite stale recently. Well, that of course is excluding the massive push for Wayland. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and join our community. Until the next one, stay safe everybody.